another video today I'm gonna review this Sony Handycam Vision before I begin with this let's get the set and look at this instruction book it probably is Russian I don't know Look at how old it is. Make it come on. So let's check this. What they have given. It starts with the table of contents. And then how to use the manual. The accessories provided. I'll show that to you. Uh, I may not have these batteries. I may not have these batteries. How to use them and all. And it's pretty old and I'm not sure if this actually works. But let's see. So the first thing. It's pretty big actually. And it's got a weight to it. It's pretty heavy. Look at the screen. Look at the bezels. See the bezels? Twist this here it shows some readings it's a screen over here I don't exactly know how this works so here the power switch is there power camera off VTR so it's set off right now it has 180x digital zoom nice steady shot yeah that is the 4 inch LED LCD uh, monitor built in screen and here's the focus far near auto manual here's the built in microphone and here's the uh, 15x optical zoom lens so you have to open this up look at that super nice Here's the mic input. Yeah. And one more thing, it runs on a uh, cassette, it's not CDs or whatever, uh, or SD cards. Cassettes. And this also lights up. And uh, you slide your hand inside here. Look how it's worn out. Here's the lock option. Standby, photo standby, and start stop. Here's the battery place. I'll, I'll come to that in a sec. Uh, here's the backlight option, program option, exposure option, um, the other buttons, brightness for uh, the, the screen, and the volume. So, to open it, there's one button you open, press that, open it, and this is the 4 inch screen. It's pretty big actually for that time. And yeah, you can do this. Uh, this is what you can do with the screen. You can do only this much. That's all. Firstly, let's look at these batteries. These are huge ones, but they hold pretty less amount of battery. So here's the um, 1350 mAh battery, lithium ion battery pack, 7.2 volts, and this is 7.2 volts only, but 20, 2700 uh, mAh lithium ion battery. But they're pretty thick and heavy. 
this one. Wow. So I have to still charge them here. Look at the amount of size difference. As you can see, the thickness varies. All else, everything is same. Sony N N P F five three zero. That's all. Now let's get back to the remotes. I actually don't have the other remote, but I have one. Maybe this is the reason they were giving the batteries to put it here inside the remote. These ha almost have the same ba um, same buttons to control the video cam. Nothing great, but it's good. Mm, that's all. And the next one, these wires. These pretty much are there in every uh, camera or the video camera setups. And then we have the main charger. You just plug it in. And here where the batteries lie, I'll show you how to insert them. So this arrow, you place it here and push it. Done. So while charging, this thing lights up orange. And when the battery is completed, uh, completely full, it comes yellow. Same thing with this. Just slide it in. Push it. And then when you want to remove, remove it. And there's another option also. Look at this. This one slides in here. And this one goes here. So you slide it in and then boom. It's a wired thing now. And same way, you just put this one, the arrow goes down, put, put it here, place it and push. Done. You are the nice. So to open it, there's this button, you press it and then push it up. I don't know if there's enough battery to power it, I'll just charge it in a minute and come back. Now let's hop into it. As soon as you open it and power it up, gives a nice thing. Comes on and turns on. I guess you can look at it. Yeah. Let's see what standby does. Photo. Okay, it shows there's no cassette in here, but I can take a photo, I can lock it, and when I go to VTR, it's like you put the cassette and you just play the video here, off, when I go to camera, just like this, try to look at this, it's actually pretty cool, though it's old, it's pretty good. It's working well. Let's check if the brightness works. No. Yeah. One of the batteries is in here. And there's menu option and search. No screen ratio. Reset. Timer. Anti ground shooting. Date, time, display title. Other stuff. Let's try it. Oh, I have a cassette in here. Let's try if it fits. Because this one doesn't fit the regular cassette. Let's try opening it. So, um, yeah, I press this eject key. And then comes out. This eject key over here. I'll try putting It's 
a little big. Doesn't fit well. This is the light that provides light to the screen. It's actually pretty good. But the screen has some issues. So I can go to standby mode, photo standby mode, where I take photos as I told you, but I can't take it, so it makes that crazy noise. Let's try focusing it. I'll just take the other battery. Let's try to power using it. Let's try focusing it manually first. So as I told you, you use this, this uh, info focusing. I don't know if you can see it. But it's, oh, it's not. <laughs> My bad. Look how it focuses and you know, blurs the screen. It's good, right? Yeah. When you as you keep on doing it look what happens it changes to mountain that means it may be far and hand it is near good it's a good thing and then once you put it in auto focus it just died turn it on as we were doing the autofocus, let's try the autofocus. It focuses automatically. It's pretty good. Let's get a little far. Does a pretty good job. Focuses pretty well. But you can almost see the pixels through your naked eyes. Other than that. It's great to use this eyepiece. Pretty good. Let me just show some. Look at this. I show my hand. It's done. at this I don't know what that exactly means there's a cassette and a scratch that means there are no um, cassette here and the, uh, it shows 700 AL or something and I don't know what that means except that it shows how much uh, battery life uh, what mode I, we are in and photo mode and the timer I guess and high it uh, once I come to stand my standby mode the photo thing uh, vanishes because we are in the video mode and to start recording you just press this red button mm, yeah I've told VTR and mostly that's it yeah there's a headphone jack too So guys, thanks for watching.